Hey guys, Steven here. I'm putting together a couple of videos. Um, I have an 07 G35 with the uh, the rev up engine, and it's got an oil consumption issue. So I'm putting together a couple of videos um, of the oil catch can system and uh, everything. I bought a Mishimoto oil catch can, which uh, doesn't come with hoses or clamps or anything really. All it has is the actual catch can itself. So I'm putting together this video of uh, all the pieces that I bought. I'll do a report on them individually. And I'm gonna, at the end, I'll do one of everything together. So today we're doing the uh, hose end clamps that I bought today. Got them off of uh, summitracing.com, I believe. Yeah, summitracing.com. Uh, and these are the Spectre clamps. And... Uh, Take them out of the box, this closed box as you can see, I just got them in today. And uh, I bought, they come in pair and I bought two separate pairs. Because uh, I have one going to the PCV in the catch can, the one going from the catch can um, back up to the uh, the lower plenum. So, we'll go ahead and open them up. We'll just pull one out <coughs> so one thing I did see about these is uh, the end cap here on top you can actually take a flat head and you can pop this whole piece off because uh, if your clamp goes bad on the inside I'll show you the inside right here there we go the whole thing there's your actually where you tighten it and there's the from the front so if your actual clamp goes bad on the inside you can actually pop this top piece off right here and uh, remove the clamp you can see it's pretty loose right here right now so this whole clamp actually comes out and uh, if your clamp goes bad or if this one's just a shitty clamp to begin with then uh, I could just pop this off take the clamp out put a new clamp in for you know like what maybe 90 cents at uh, AutoZone or something and uh, put a new clamp in there and we're good to go. So uh, overall, it's a light piece. It's, uh, I believe it's aluminum. Yes, anodized aluminum. So, uh, which is good because the actual catch gun I got is also aluminum. And then I'm getting brass fittings for it. But uh, yeah, it looks good. I believe I have a flathead here. I got a flathead. <clears throat> so we can see that a clamp actually moves. In there. And uh, yeah, everything's turning good. It's actually tightening and stuff. It is kind of loose in there, I'm not gonna lie. But if you look at it now, you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not in the video, but it did actually tighten up. So the clamp works on this one and everything. We'll see how it holds up once the actual hoses come in. So overall, you know, the product's really good. I like it. Uh, it's loose, but once it tightens up, everything will be good inside. It seems like a really solid piece. I can't bend it at all. Obviously I'm using my hand, but I can't bend it at all. Uh, yeah, seems like a really solid piece. So we'll see what happens whenever uh, I actually put it on the actual car. You know, it's shiny for now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, overall uh, looks good so far. We'll see what happens when I actually get it on. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, keep looking for my next videos. I'll keep posting them. I'm doing my own little makeshift. Sh I'm doing my own setup on the uh, catch can. So uh, that I haven't seen available so far that people have put together online or anything. So stay tuned for my videos, guys, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys later. And if you like what you saw, subscribe.